begin with a roster update, an injury update? Uh, uh, well, you all know about uh, Bobby, uh, except you didn't know what it was. So it's a broken finger. Uh, right now we just found out there's no need for surgery. So hopefully we can get him back uh, you know, uh, before uh, well, the last uh, weeks of the season. Uh, uh, who else do we got in there? Mark Stone. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, would that be a month then? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's a broken finger. So okay. we're, we're looking at somewhere a month, a month, uh, a week more, a week less or so. I mean, April. Let's look at April. Okay. Mark Stone? Mark Stone is, I don't know, people keep telling me he wasn't injured. I, I don't know where that comes from. Uh, he's... Uh, He's definitely injured. Didn't finish the game because he's injured. Uh, he's not can't practice because he's injured, and he won't play the game because he's injured. So he's got a he's got an injury on his neck. Okay. Is this uh, expected to be long term or day to day? We'll see. I hopefully it improves, but today uh, there's no improvement today. So that's why it's we're not even close to have him on the ice. So uh, and then we've got uh, Hoff for sure not playing today. That's a groin injury. Uh, so I don't know how long that's going to last. And uh, Wingles is not practicing now, and I'm going to see if uh, if he gets the okay for today. He was the the, the one that probably was the least uh, the least hurt. No, oh, he said a little nagging thing, but nothing. He enough is playing tonight. Yeah, just so give it give him a little rest there. Yeah. Sorry, can you confirm that Stone doesn't have a concussion when you call it a neck injury? No, no, no. He has a definite definite neck injury. Then how did the league say he wasn't injured? I don't know. I can't answer that. You have to ask them. Does Kleisen play? Do you go 11-7? Uh, Kleisen? Uh, no, we go 12. So we got uh, Bailey in and we got McCormick in. Neil? Bailey. Neil? Neil in, yeah. Yeah, we're going 12. There's no more, so <laughs> that's, that's 12. <coughs> when you sit down with your lineup card, and you look at line combinations. You didn't do any this morning. Are you <laughs> yeah. still? I'm, well, I, for, still first of all, I could not. Be, well, first of all, I could not. Uh, I mean, unless Wings is not playing. If Wings is not playing, uh, then I have to put Clayson in so that we have enough guys. But uh, right now, we're hoping Wings can play uh, and that uh, we can go uh, 12 and 6. Uh, but I was waiting to see what I was going to do with. Uh, but I'll, I'll make some mixes. I mean, I'm not going to throw guys out there, and uh, you know, I, I, I want to make sure that we're going to have some NHL depth guys on every line, and uh, and make sure that we have uh, what we need to play a good, hard defensive game. Uh, but I mean, you look at the, <clears throat> or if you look at the original top six forwards, if that included MacArthur, obviously he's not there. So we've been running with five, and the guys have done a really good job. But uh, obviously we got three last so I mean out of the two guys that were originally pegged top six guys there's Turris and Broussard so yes it's it, it makes for different types of lines but I think guys like Zingles have chipped in really well and Pyatt and uh, and Smitty and those guys have uh, have given us uh, some uh, versatility uh, and some uh, some options with our lines so I'm going to try to juggle that for tonight. Sunday you, you use the word that word that it looked like a disaster it looked well, disastrous and well that's, i guess yeah. my, my question today is does it do those injuries look as disastrous to you today or or is there a light at the end of the well, tunnel because all three guys are well obviously today is not a good day because we're missing all these guys but uh, hopefully uh we get lucky in the next days and it looks better um, so it, it all depends on. I mean, Bobby, it's it's clear that's not good for us. It's it's a month and and more, uh, so that hurts. Uh, and, and you know, I, obviously, uh, MacArthur, that's long gone. So that's we can't. So these two for me are are cleared. The rest, well, we have to see. Uh, we have to see how things improve in the next uh, in the next little while. But uh, yeah, we're we're challenged now. Uh, we've had adversity all year long. We've 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 uh, really. Um, did well with the adversity we were dealt, and I think the players had a lot of character. And, and uh, you know, we didn't want to give ourselves excuses, uh, and uh, we found ways. And uh, I mean, this is this is as hard as it gets right now for us this year. Uh, but I think uh, you know, all our D's are healthy, our goaltenders are healthy, and we got some hardworking guys uh, with our forwards. And uh, and I'm sure that we're going to put our best work ethic on the ice. Two guys you called up, I think they've both been called up before this season. Are they guys that, I don't know if that's the right word, Guy, but are they guys you trust to put in 
Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, I think Bailey has come up and has done really well. He's smart. He's in the right places. Uh, I like how what he does with the puck, the simple things. And I think McCormick is the, you know, probably as, as hardworking as you can get any player ever. Uh, I mean, he's Mr. Relentless and uh, has, has worked himself up here now because when you make choices, you, you make choices on what you need, but also on who deserves it down there. Uh, and, you know, that's the name that was coming up the last two weeks. So they always keep me up on who's doing well. And, uh, and it was McCormick, 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 McCormick. So, I mean, that was clear. And I think Bailey, for what he's done with us when he came up, uh, it was clear. So right now, those are the two guys. And if we need more in the next days, we'll, we'll look at who's doing good down there. But hopefully we don't need more.